Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Small Soldiers. Well, yeah, it's the Game Boy, they have to be small. 1998 saw the release of sci-fi movie Small Soldiers, about two groups of sentient action figures at war. It was an interesting idea, but unfortunately the execution left something to be desired, and the movie was met with middling reviews upon release, although it did gain some cult status as time went on. But none of that matters because it was a thing in the 90s, and like I've said before, when something was even slightly popular back then, it had a game made. The idea of action figures fighting certainly sounds fun, but then we see the developer, Tier Tech Studios. They've appeared twice on Game Boy Roulette, with Men in Black the series and Pocahontas, which were bad and boring and bad respectively. Even with THQ publishing, Tier Tech does not have a good reputation here. Seriously, LJN has had better showings on Game Boy Roulette. That is a low bar, and Tier Tech somehow tripped right over it. But maybe this will be the one that works out for them. Maybe. I will say for a tie-in game, this is about as good a cover as you're gonna get. Even if you had never heard of the movie, the image of a soldier versus a predator thing is certainly appealing. Makes you want to run to Toys R Us and get those figures. Assuming they actually made them. But enough about action figures, let's play this game about action figures. We're gearing up with Small Soldiers. Ooh. Music during the credits. I like that. Uh, Tear Techs, we meet again. And DreamWorks. Small soldiers! There they are! Look how small they are. Oh, never mind. Alright, I'm ready to... There we go. Uh, oh! That's kind of different. I like this. I actually like this selection screen. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Let's go. Must find a hiding place. It's... Not terrible animation here. Or graphics, I should say. Oh, okay. Okay, first thing to note, animation is really- Oh god, hello. Really quite good. I don't think I have a weapon. Oh, this is awesome. Check it out. I hit B, and then 45 seconds later, he jumps. I right, so I'm gonna go up here. How do I- What am I doing? How do I actually- Thing. How, how do I thing? Come on, I assume I go up here. I mean, it looks like some place I go. Okay, more enemies are spawning, and I still don't know what to do. Maybe this way? No. Okay, <clears throat> we're on the first screen. Again, the game does animate very well, but the jump is delayed beyond belief. How do I get up here? Nothing I'm doing has any effect on anything. Hi, can you help me? Oh, come back. Oh, I got it. Okay, you have to be right at the edge. Also, I have a bow and arrow, but as far as I can tell, there's no attack music is not bad, but it's, there's something about it. I can't tell if it's the emulator screwing up, but there's what can only be described as a weird farty noise. Uh, what's up, Zarya? Oh my god. The controls, the controls are not completely awful. They're just so delayed. Okay, listen, listen to when I hit the button compared to when I jump. That's like a one to two second delay. That's ridiculous. I will say this, this is by far the best tier text game. Which isn't saying much, but still. Oh, I won. That should be a safe place. Well, for an action figure, kinda? It depends, really. It's just sort of a weird, awkward platformer, but it's by f it is far from the worst uh, platformer I've ever played. It's kind of like the Pocahontas game they made, it's just sort of there, you know? Oh, what the- hey, hang on! Alright, if my video game logic tells me anything, it's that the solution is to the right. Did I win? I think I accidentally won. I was in the toy store. Okay, full disclosure, I have not actually seen the movie. I'm not about to say this is a good game. It is awkward. But honestly, it's not bad either. It does function. The controls have taken some time to get used to. But I mean, look, I'm able to kind of do stuff now. I guess we have to keep looking. Oh, found item. What did I find? Tell me what I found. I'll, I'll never know what I found. Yeah, you just have to learn a... Oh, another item. I'm finding things. But what their use is, I'll never know. 
where was Zarya? She looked like she could use some items. It's more an exploration platformer than an action platformer. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Again, I mean, you can see you have to be very specific with these jumps. It is awkward. But like I said, I've played so much worse. Oh, I'm in the back toy store again. I guess you have to just keep running around to find stuff. Again, it's exploration based. Not usually the kind of platformer you see based on a licensed game. But I'm okay with it. It's alright. I'm not prepared to go further than alright, but it's alright. Go! Come on! Grab the ledge! You're becoming less alright by the second, I beg of you. There we go. I would prefer this bad guy from Streets of Rage 2 to go away, please. I'm guessing this vent will come into play later. If I play that far, which I probably won't. There you are! Do you want this stuff? Uh, is this the beginning again? So while there are some problems with the gameplay, overall this one's fine. It's fine. That's the nicest thing I'm prepared to say about it. Was that a- hang on. Was that a severed head? Oh god, have I been collecting body parts this whole time? That either bumps this game up or down. Oh, I collapsed into a pile. Well, that's a shame. Who are the good guys and the bad guys? I really should have seen this movie. It's a past screen. Oh god, one life, no continues? Ugh. Okay, we have a lot to talk about with this game. It's kind of all over the place. So yeah, this game is kind of all over the place. Just like the movie, apparently. Here's the thing, the game was definitely awkward. The controls took some time to get used to, it took me quite some time to figure out you had to stand under those platforms exactly in order to jump up, and with no attack it felt like you were just running around. Plus, those weird noises in the music were not emulator glitches, it turns out. In other words, it had that same awkwardness and unpleasant feeling that all of Tier Tech's games have had. But while the game had those problems, it had a surprising amount of fun stuff too. Although the jumping was delayed, I could get used to it and was moving around pretty freely. The emphasis on exploration over fighting was handled surprisingly well, and once I got used to it all, I was eager to keep searching and find out what to do next. The animation was also really nice for a Game Boy game, beyond what we usually get for licensed games. Look, I'm not gonna lie and say this is a great game, or even that good. But for what it was, it was alright. It's a solid exploration platformer, and worth looking into if you enjoy that type of game. Good on you, Teartex. You redeemed yourself a bit. Maybe someday you'll catch up to the powerhouse that is LJN. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.